In today's video, we'll take a look at a very new feature that is going to get added to the JavaScript standard, and that is the big int primitive type. Uh, before we get into that, let's take a look at some simple number arithmetics, right? Let's let's declare here a few variables. Let's say a and uh, b. Let's say a equals I don't know 15, b equals 22, and let's print the sum of these two numbers. So if I try to run this. I'm gonna get, well, what? 15 plus 22 equals 37. So that's to be expected. Fine, nothing strange here. But what if, what if we do the same with really big numbers? So what if I change this to be, for example, uh, two to the power of 53? Let's say minus one. And what if I, what if I change B to be one in this case? If I try to run this now, well, I get this pretty big number, plus one equals this pretty big one, big number, but it got added one, so that, that worked, nice. What if I add two instead of just one? Oh, you'll notice here, it didn't get, it didn't actually add two to the number, it only added one, so this two to the power of 53, minus one is really the limit of our regular numbers inside JavaScript. You cannot store uh, numbers higher than that. So this is where big int comes into play. So let's change this to use big int instead of simple numbers. To do that, all you have to do is suffix every single number in your operations with an N that denotes the big int. So just here, here, and here, and of course here. If I try to run this now, you'll notice that this operation was successful. It worked as intended. And even if I have a really, really, really big number, like two to the power of, let's say, a uh, hundred, right? And we can actually get rid of this one. If I try to run this, it's still going to work, right? So this is what big int is for, is to working with really, really big numbers. Now, here are some quirks when it comes to using big ints instead of integers. First things first, you cannot mix and match between the two. So if you, for example, try to add a, which is a big int now because I have suffixed all the numbers with n, to b, which is, which I'm gonna change it to not be a big int, to be a regular number. If I try to run this, you notice know, I get the error, cannot mix big int and other types. Basically, you have to use an uh, explicit conversion, so you have to say, okay, I want to treat B as being a big int, so I can do that, but I have to do it explicitly, so I have to say here, big int of B. And if I try to run this now, everything is fine and dandy. So this is what you're gonna have to do if you want to use both integers, or regular integers, and big ints. In fact, any operation you do between these two, whether it is uh, addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, or anything, it has to do, it has to be between uh, two big ints, or two numbers, of course. So you're gonna have to convert one to the other. Um, also, bit shift operators works the, work the same way. So if I have here, for example, uh, right shift A, right shift B, B, I change this here in the text as well. And let's change to a, dis to a decent number, let's say two to the power of six, for example. If I try to run this, I'm gonna get the expected result, 64, right shifted twice to the right, it's 16. Makes sense. So all these work, except for one honorary operator, which is plus. Uh, plus doesn't work due to some compatibilities with ASM.js, so you should keep that in mind. Now, something more specific to big ints is uh, division. So remember with division, if you divide five by two, you get 2.5 with numbers. Well, with big ints, that's a bit different. So if I have here, for example, the number five, and I try to divide by the number two, and I change all this here to be properly evaluated. If I run this, you'll see that I get the number, the big int with the value two. So they don't get converted to numbers, to decimals, uh, just because I have divided them together. So they just get trimmed like in any other language. Next up, let's take a look at comparison. So if you have here, for example, A as value five and B as value two, both of them being big ints, if you change this to a 
a strict equals, just like so, well, you'll notice it's false. That, that's to be expected because five is not equal to two. Uh, if I change it to b equal, so that both of them are, for example, two, you'll notice this is true. The only difference is that if they are different types, so if this guy is a big int and this guy is just a number, if I try to run this, you will get false, right? So they are not strictly equal, but they are loosely equal. So if I change this to a loose equals in between them, one of them is going to be coerced into the other, right? And it's actually the big int that gets coerced into an, uh, a regular number. So keep that in mind. That's why I'm getting through here. So again, comparisons, or at least just uh, loosely equals and strictly equal comparisons uh, work this way. Less than or higher than or all the other comparisons, th those work the same for any type of number. So if I change this, for example, to three, and if I say is higher than, and this also higher than, you'll notice I should get false. And that's correct. That, that also works. When converting uh, big ints to booleans, they behave the same as with numbers. So basically, if you have uh, a to b, the big int with the value zero in it, if you have not a here, and let's change this to be nice, you'll notice if I run this, I get true because not zero is true. And if I change this to, a, for example, to a five, I'm going to get false because not anything that is uh, different than zero is going to be uh, false because every single number that is not uh, zero is considered true. And that's all there is to big ints really. They are not compatible with the regular numbers, but other than, other than that, they work mostly the same. Now, one last thing that I wanna cover is the limit of this big int because in actuality, each, uh, each implementation of the language does provide a limit. They don't usually tell you what because uh, this is uh, this is still not implemented in the standard, but it's going to be at least a million bits, right? So if I change this here to be, let's say I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the console log because I'm not gonna be able to log anything after it. But if I change this to be two n to the power of this pretty big number, you'll notice that if I run this, nothing happens. So everything is working properly. But if I change this to a higher power, so uh, let's say, let's say here plus one, just like so, you'll notice that it suddenly gives me an error that says maximum begin size exceeded. This is for node version 10.6.2. So it might get changed. It actually got changed a couple of times. So you should keep that in mind. You'll notice this number is actually pretty close to two to the power of 31. It's not really, it's I think two to the power of 31 minus two to the power of seven. Uh, and it's probably that two to the power of seven is probably used for uh, retaining the number of digits inside this big int and other sort of meta information about the number. All right, so uh, the limit is very, very large. This is basically 2 billion uh, binary digits. So you shouldn't have a problem using this when you deal with big numbers, right? This really supports really, really large numbers. So this is what's gonna come to JavaScript very, very soon actually. I want to hear from you. What do you think this can be used for? Where where are some use cases and where do you think it's going to be used in your uh, application that you're currently working on? So I hope you got something out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do have any questions, do leave them down in comments below or on our Discord server. Take care, bye.